those games against Australia and New Zealand were agonising. Um, so bitterly disappointed to not take the wins um, in those matches. I suppose key, key lessons moving forward. Um, while we've definitely demonstrated um, our ability to maintain possession um, for longer with better quality, we have to convert at critical times. We have to take key possession through at critical times. And that's what Australia and New Zealand did. Uh, they absorbed that pressure. They responded. They didn't back off. Um, and I think, you know, you have to call upon those experiences. They have been under that um, numerous times, either as a team or within the ANZ um, championships. Um, and that gives them confidence. And actually, if you look at those uh, periods of game time during those games where we either didn't push on or we um, didn't respond well enough to the opposition coming back at us, that is what we're going to have to address this year. Um, Converting possession at critical times. You have to expect opposition to, of that quality to have runs. What you have to make sure is you minimise the impact it has. Um, we did that to a certain extent against Australia in terms of the lack of runs that they had. But the run that they did of three in that final quarter was what cost us. And actually, we had opportunity to go ahead rather than them go ahead for the first time in the game. Um, against New Zealand, um, the critical time was post that timeout in that fourth quarter. Australia denied us a ball and we didn't take any possession through to shot at that point. And unfortunately we fell short and we did have possession. Even when we lost it, we were relentless, we got, got possession back. But we were wasteful at those critical moments. And there were other moments throughout the game where we should have pushed on and punished teams. Uh, but we weren't ruthless enough, so that's a key learning uh, moving forward for us. Um, I think with that comes momentum. A lot of people talk about um, transition and the way momentum shifts from one team to the other. Um, I refer to the fact that teams are going to get runs, but how do you minimise that impact? And I also uh, refer to um, how we push on in games, when the momentum shifts with us how we turn that knife and actually push on. So there was opportunities in all three of those games, Australia, New Zealand, and Jamaica, where we weren't clinical enough. We gave unforgivable errors away and didn't push on. Um, also have to look at how we can maintain momentum through the use of our bench in terms of changes for athletes coming on, whether that's for um, specific periods of time, a quarter to have a real impact um, and that's something that you know I need to look at about how we maximise that opportunity and um, I suppose build on that momentum by making either tactical changes within or tactical sub changes. Um, we started well. I think the key thing in terms of we really took it to the opposition. Um, you know, generally throughout the tournament, first quarter we started well. And after half time, we started well. But that's not good enough. We have to make sure we've got consistency across the four quarters. And losing isn't good enough anymore. Losing quarters against this level of opposition, they are going to punish you. So as an England side, we have to continue to demand more from ourselves, more from the coaches, to ensure that we are consistent with 15 minutes um, quarter by quarter, game by game, and that's something we have to do against weaker opposition as well, because that's what we have to practice in order to make sure that we become clinical against better opposition. I'd say um, another key key um, lesson for us is linked with the fact that losing isn't good enough, and we shouldn't um, we shouldn't accept it is our accountability. And that accountability goes to the players as well as the coaching staff. We have to look at what did you do? What was your contribution at critical moments? Did we back off? Were we fearless? Um, should we have looked at it from a tactically different standpoint? 
Um, I think we prepared well against the opposition. I think we analysed them well. Tactically, we started well, but should we have had a plan B, depending on how those changes the opposition made or personnel that they brought on off the bench? And I think that's absolute key for us in terms of moving forward, that each and every one of us has to be even more meticulous about the way in which we analyse our own performance, um, analyse each other's performance and the, the girls are getting fantastic at uh, briefing back in terms of what was their contribution, what was uh, their unit's contribution and that's the same for me in terms of did I make changes that were right, did I start with the right seven, um, you know did a player stay out there for too long, did they, I pull them off too soon and um, they're all key things that I have a systematic approach that I've developed um, with mentors about how I actually scrutinise my performance as well as the athletes.